Will Young used a controversial method to help him overcome a porn addiction after realizing he watched too much thanks to childhood trauma. The pop idol star, who last year infamously quit Strictly Come Dancing after a rumored spat with Len Goodman, has opened up about how watching his twin brother being given special medical help 10 minutes after he was born led to a lifetime of addictions. Speaking to the Times magazine, the 38-year-old singer claimed that seeing his sibling being put in an incubator to treat his pneumonia caused trauma. I think that created a nervous system that was on edge, and understandably so, he said. Trauma lies beneath 99.9% .9 of addictions. To treat his dependence on alcohol, shopping, porn, and even love, Will had an unconventional approach. He went to see a shaman. I heard about her and I thought, I'll give it a go. I don't talk about what happens in the shamanic process because it goes beyond words, he said. With therapy for his PTSD, Will says he has managed to cut his drinking right back and even dipped his toe into the dating pool last year. I said to a friend of mine, I'm famous, but I would quite like to go on Tinder. He said, F can go on Tinder then, who cares? So I did and it was brilliant, hysterical. Will went on a few Tinder dates and is now in a long-term relationship, although he wouldn't say where he found his partner. The singer came clean about his porn addiction last year, saying it was a way for him to cope with the shame of his sexuality. At the time, he also admitted to dabbling in drugs, but said he was just masking and aiding a huge void. Speaking at National Student Pride 2016 at the University of Westminster, Will revealed, I was a love addict, I still am an addict, addicted to porn, certainly addicted to alcohol. I'd never been on a date without having at least two drinks before I'd left the house and I didn't even notice that was a problem. Drugs I didn't really get into. I toyed around with it, but it didn't really stick with me so much. Will came out at the age of 21, but said that meant he had suffered 17 years of shame. He said, I will keep coming back to shame because it's such a fundamental thing. Until I conquered it I just kept having sex to fill the void, watching porn, shopping, anything, and I think we are told that as soon as we come out everything will be okay, but it's just not the case. It is different being a young LGBT person because if you are heterosexual you are not dealing with a huge backlog of sexual shame and shame of your identity. In 2012, Will sought treatment at Kyan House, a residential trauma center, in Oxfordshire. Will revealed that the therapists gave him diagnoses, including post-traumatic stress disorder, depersonalization and derealization. The Leave Right Now singer was campaigning for schools to teach children about sexuality from a younger age. There's a huge gap where we are ignoring young people. We focused, I think rightfully so, on legal rights, he went on. What I've noticed in witnessing statistics is there is a huge void where the government is not focusing on nurturing young LGBT people in schools. The prime thought I think is that difference is not recognized in this country. We are basically all different and we cannot be the same. So to promote difference in schools would just allow everyone to grow up more accepting and loving. Will has tried putting pressure on politicians and says, I've had two meetings with two different education secretaries. However after his encounter with the current conservative education secretary, Nikki Morgan, he says he came away incredibly disappointed. He says, the problem with homophobic language is that in schools it is simply not being addressed. My prime focus now is young LGBT rights and I think what lies beneath that is people just don't think it's an issue.